Well, hello, hello everyone. I hope that you are all having a great day. It is time to update my Shop My Stash. I love doing this every single month or so. It makes my makeup seem still new and exciting. I, I, I just really love doing this. <laughs> so first let's go through the things that I have pulled out with things that I'll be pulling up, or excuse me, putting away. Um, probably this Merit Stick Foundation. I often end up pulling this out later in the month. Even though I don't pull it out in my shop, my stash, I end up using it. It's just really, really handy for travel. I really, really love that. And the rest of the foundations, I think I'm going to leave out for now. This is a Project Pan spray. I pulled out a whole bunch of lip products. So let's see, I can put away this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Doozy. I think that in my next declutter, this might get decluttered. <laughs> I can't quite make myself do it yet because it's old enough. I can't, I don't feel comfortable giving it to anyone. So I don't really want to throw it. But at the same time, it's kind of, eh. it dries up my lips to the point where I always have to put a gloss over it, which wouldn't be a big deal, except it kind of melts the product in my lips. I, I just don't like how it looks <laughs> after like the first 30 minutes or whatever. But anyway, I did wear this last month. I loved using my Clinique Black Honey. I'll put that away. I also pulled out this product from Kaleidos. Oh, it's got something on it. It's supposed to be soft matte packaging. There we go. <laughs> so this is the shade Dune in the Cloud Lab, Cloud Lab Lip Clay. These are so cool. They're kind of like a cream to powder formula. They're really cool. That's what the shade Dune looks like. I really enjoy that. Put that away. I used my clear Copari gloss. If you've never tried the Copari glosses before, um, I find them every once in a while at TJ Maxx. They're really, really delightful if, I mean, if <laughs> you like the smell of coconut because they're very, very coconutty, but super highly glossy. They're just very, very juicy. <laughs> they're super fun. I also pulled out from Fenty this gloss. This is the cream formula in the shade Peach Pout. Just a little mini. Um, I don't think this is the best formula. It tends to fall into lines in my lips. I'm constantly kind of having to check it and fix it, but it is a color that's pretty unique in my collection. It's just very, very, very peach. <laughs> I don't have anything else like this. Anyway, I do pull it out every once in a while. So I'll put that away. I'll put away my two Kaja gloss shot glosses. We have the shades Honey Drizzle and Milk Tea. I love this formula. It's like a liquid lip balm, super hydrating and non-sticky. One of my favorite kinds of formulas ever. I really love these. I don't think I got to this, uh, even though I love this, I just didn't really wear this color from Clinique. This is the shade Super Strawberry in the Chubby Stick. So I'll leave that out. Um, I do believe I wore this. I really love this <laughs> from Chapstick. This is the Total Hydration. Vitamin Enriched Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Blushed Bronze. I have no idea if these are still available. If you can find them, I really like them. I think they're great. Oh my gosh, this I used so much, like weirdly, more than I expected. I know I like this formula. There's something about this color that really works for me. This is the Glow Paradise in the shade Nude Heaven. Oh, it is just kind of like a great 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 nude that works for me with so many different makeup looks so love this but i'll be putting it away i keep trying to reach for this wet and wild cloud pout <laughs> but whenever i reach for it for some reason in my mind i think it's kind of peachy but it's not it's very very pink i'm gonna leave this out again hopefully in the month of june i will reach for that it smells amazing. It really does smell like marshmallow. This is the marshmallow lip mousse. It does smell just like it. Oh, I also pulled out this lipstick from Wayne Goss. So I already have one in, in my project pan that I'm panning, but this was the shade Carnation. There was one day where I wore very minimal weight makeup and I just wanted kind of a more bold lip. And for me, this is bold. <laughs> So I just loved my makeup that day. Really, really beautiful. But I'll put this away. All right, let me adjust the camera. Okay, so here we are in my little highlight drawer. I wore my Natasha Denona Super Glow. This is so pretty. It's so, so pretty, but I will put it away. Flower Beauty Day Glow is in my project pan. There's a cat hair in here. If I can... This material is great for like not making things clink around, but it collects dust and animal hair. Okay. I also use my Merit Stick. This is the shade Kava. Oh, I love this. I focused on this in a project pan last year. I might have to bring it back because I love that so much. And then this Laura Geller blush in the shade Ethereal Rose is a beautiful 
pink highlighter and I did wear it so I'll put that away. Moving on to oh and by the way if you're wondering about this little foil packet over here this is a sample from Westman Atelier this is their lit highlighter stick and I, I like it I've got a little sample of it so I'm just keeping it in there to remind myself to use it. Okay here we are with blush I always pull out so much blush I actually just wore this yesterday this is the shade mink it's so pretty but like more glowy than you expect but really really pretty and actually with decent pigment too i mean if, if you have fair skin i would say oh beautiful i'll put this away oh i do have a bronzer in here as well i did use this from makeup revolution it's a very pretty creamy formula i use the shade light i'll put that away also from emma cosmetics these are the drops in the shade venetian rose always so pretty i'll put this away I think I used everything in here. Well, maybe not everything. Uh, I did use this from Merit. This is the shade Beverly Hills in their blush stick. This is so easy to wear. Literally kind of just rub it on your face and it's just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Great everyday color. I loved using that. I did wear my e.l.f. Active Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette, the highlighter, and that blush shade, I think. This really is like super pigmented. <laughs> I don't usually need to wear something this pigmented, but if I'm willing to, you know, just dab on just a little bit, this is so pretty. I'll put that away. I have another Westwood Atelier. <laughs> this is the shade Petal. <laughs> to remind myself to use that in there so I don't lose it. Oh my gosh, I love this. I could, I think I could wear this every day from Nude Sticks. This is the Matte Luxe Blush in the shade um, Nude Buff. Oh, I had a hard time not wearing that every day. Love that. You know what? It had been such a long time since I had worn my Glossier blush in the shade Beam. And when I did wear it, oh my gosh, I loved my makeup that day. It is kind of a unique peachy shade. It's 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 definitely kind of a vibrant shade, but the way that it blends out on my skin, I just love it. I mean, I use a very tiny amount because you get a lot out when you just try to get the tiniest bit. Oh, but it's it's very, very pretty still. Even with all the blushes that have come out since this one, this is still a really beautiful peachy blush. I didn't get to this one from Euphoria, so this will stay out. This is a pH color changing, kind of a bright pink on me, so I will leave that out. This Neutrogena one is in my project pan. Ooh, I was kind of testing my Tower 28 blush to see if it was still wearable. I noticed that the um, closer is broken, so it's been kind of... I feel like drying out a little bit, but it still looks great on my skin, so I will be saving and keeping this. Oh, I can't remember. I think... Yes, I did wear this <laughs> on a day where I was wearing super cool toned makeup. This is a... Um, the shade... This is the shade Stiletto. Whoa! Oh, that was close. This is the shade Stiletto <laughs> from Sydney Grace. It's a very glowy, cool toned blush. Very unique in my collection, and I love it. Phytosurgeons in the shade Inferno. I think I did wear this. So I will put this back. Always a, a delight to use these. I'm very, very tempted by some of their new shades that are out. But I have not yet purchased them. <laughs> They're definitely on my list. Okay, moving on from blush, let's talk about all the eye products that I used last month. So I pulled out from Revlon the Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Praline. This is such a pretty pink, unfortunately. Do you see how it's pulling out from the sides there? <sighs> I had to really work hard to build up that shade. It is really starting to dry out. I hesitate to declutter it though because I think it's so pretty. It's such a really, really nice one and done. I'm going to hold on to it for now, but it, it might end up getting decluttered in the next round. I also pulled out this bouncy eyeshadow from Ulta. This is the shade Italian Ice. Whenever I reach for these, I always intend to reach for one of the other shades, and I always reach for this one instead. <laughs> it's a very soft, creamy formula with very, very small mica particles in it. It's very, very pretty if you like, you know, this type of wet looking sparkly shadow very kind of understated and beautiful as far as powder singles i pulled out two last month this is one of my favorites from glam shop oh it's so beautiful that is its name in polish i think this is called fluff in english it flashes yellow oh i hope you can see that it is so so pretty so fun to wear oh like that is so pretty so fun and then this is one of my favorite Sydney Gray shadows of all time. This is the shade piece, which I know I've swatched it for you a million times, but I'm going to swatch it for you again. Oh, 
Oh, oh. And okay, some of those sparkles are from this up here. <laughs> this shade isn't sparkly like that. It's just kind of got that molten quality Sydney Grace is known for. Mm, beautiful. But I'll be putting those two away. I also wore several colorful eyeliners this past month. I must have been in kind of a mood for blue eyeliner. I wore this one from Essence. This is the Long Lasting Gel... Gel? I don't know if it's gel. Just Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 2 2 Turquoise. I've had this forever. <laughs> a really long time. It still works pretty good though. I have no idea if it's still available, but that's what that looks like. This one from Urban Decay, I'm pretty sure was limited edition. This is the 24 seven glide on eye pencil in Vivid. This is really pretty, really like that. I think that for this particular color, I like wearing it in an eyeliner. Like I'm not really gonna put that all over my eyelid, but I love it in the eyeliner. And then I know I've been talking about this a lot on my channel, but you know, I wore it several times last month from Kaleidos. This is the shade Limelight. And they have a super long name for these. I can never remember what they're called, but they are their glorious multi-chrome eyeliners. Oh, so beautiful. All of those will get put back into my stash. And then I did end up reaching for quite a few eyeshadow palettes. I did reach for my Pat McGrath. I used it a couple times last month. I used it for this brown, which was a great one and done. And then I also reached for this gorgeous topper shade over here. Yeah, the more I use it, the more I love it. I also reached for my ColourPop Wild Nothing palette. I still really like this palette. I think I used this through my crease, this all over my lid, and this in my inner corner, and it was so beautiful. Uh, if you're into kind of like that kind of diffused looking, washed out by the sun type color story, this is just so, so beautiful. Every time I use it again, I'm like, oh yes, I just love this color story. So yeah, if this is still available, I do recommend this. It's a really great summer palette. My daughter used this on me for our um, daughter does my makeup video. This is from I Heart Revolution, the Cocoa Pebbles palette. I actually like the color story in here, <laughs> right? It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Here, easier if I show it to you like that. <laughs> I obviously don't reach for it that often. You still can see the impressions in there but you know it's it, it was fun i also reached for my sydney grace enduring love palette and there's smudges on it what happens when you put on eyeshadow with your fingers <laughs> and that is what that one looks like i also used this a couple times i reached for the mattes in here and i also did kind of a really fun look where i used juliet which is kind of a pinky tone through my crease and then used john which is a very silvery green all over my lid and that kind of silvery green and pink i think looks so nice together as always this is a pleasure to use but I'll put this away and I also reached for my Too Faced natural nudes palette this is really good this is really good if you are into just easy easy light eye looks like this is the type of thing where the the match really corresponds really well with the shadow above or underneath it so it makes very simple eye looks extremely easy to do the Shimmers in here are more kind of glittery shadows. So if you're not into glittery shadows, you know, I would not recommend this palette to you, but if you like that sort of thing, you know, see what I mean? Then, yeah, that's kind of a good indication of what they look like. You will enjoy this palette. The mattes are really easy to work with as well. Okay, I think that's ha everything that I pulled out. Let's go ahead and shop my stack. Okay, let's begin down here in this drawer. This is where I keep my small eyeshadow palettes. And the way I've been doing eyeshadow palettes is I just show you, like I did today, what I ended up using in the past month. Instead of pulling out eyeshadows to use all month, that way I feel like I can keep it a lot more um spontaneous as to what I use because this year I'm trying to track like my eyeshadow usage so anyway I won't be picking out any eyeshadow but over here is where I have some highlighters mm, and they're so good and so pretty mm. so <laughs> I haven't used these in a really long time in fact I recently just took this one out of my eyeshadow collection and put it back into my highlighter collection these are both from Sydney Grace and for the longest time, I didn't think I would ever wear this color. This is the shade Swinging Vines, but that was because at the time I wasn't really into highlighter and now I'm really enjoying this highlighter. <laughs> and I think both of these are like limited edition shades. Oh, look, holy, that's bananas. Wow, those are so pretty. Anyway, I can't wait to use those. I'll pull out those. Also, I think it's been some time since I have used my candied peach highlighter from sydney grace the loose highlighter formula is just as pretty as they're pressed you barely need any oh 
Isn't that pretty? Hmm, in addition to like my Project Pan stuff, I don't know if I wanna pull out, maybe one more. <laughs> one more let's pull out this one from salt new york this is their highlighter in the shade beige <laughs> i'm gonna get a thumb swatch because my other fingers are covered in the other highlighter shades so that is beige all right i think we're set for highlighter oh aren't they beautiful let us close this drawer and move on into this drawer which is where i keep face palettes and all my lip stuff <laughs> so i like to pull out at least one face palette every single month to use i think i want i've been thinking about this one from natasha denona so i think this is what i'm going to use this is the face the glam face palette in the sh in the light shade so it comes with a cream blush a highlighter and then five eyeshadows so even though my goal in pulling this out is to use the blush and highlight i'll probably use the eyeshadows too since they'll be out on my vanity all right, lip products. I think I want to use this one from Maybelline. This is the Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Peachy. I've been really craving kind of peach makeup lately. So that's what that looks like. Yeah, I'll definitely get good use out of that. Also, I think this Merit Lip Oil in the shade All Natural. Very pretty. I think also from Nude Sticks. This is the Magnetic Plush Paint in the shade Saint Tropez. This is actually the same type of formula as that Kaleidos formula, kind of like a cream to powder. Very interesting. I think I'm gonna pull out my Glossier Holographic Lip Gloss. I might have to target this. I keep saying that. <laughs> this is getting kind of old in my collection. Such a fun, unique gloss though, since it's, um, as they say, holographic. Let's see if I can show you. Mm, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got like iridescent sparkles in it. So yeah, you can see it better there. And then I just ran over quick to my lipsticks. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't move the camera. I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> but this is from YSL. This is the shade Rose Dentel. That's right, it doesn't say that on there. I just somehow managed to remember that. But this is the Rouge Voluptu Shine. There's a formula that is it like the super popular kind of formula right now where it's kind of a very balmy formula. So pretty, great for this time of year. Okay, I think that's it for lip stuff. Let's head on over to blushes. All right, here we are at the drawer of happiness. <laughs> you know what, now that I'm here back at my vanity, I realized I did not tell you my tea of the day. I am trying out this one from this brand called Chez Lulu. It's very hard because it's obviously supposed to be French with like the description of the tea, but essentially it is a vanilla flavored green tea. It's supposed to be very light and kind of creamy tasting. I actually really don't like it. <laughs> I find it. I mean, it's a very pretty tea. I'll insert the footage of that, but I think I find it tastes very medicinal. I think it's the vanilla flavoring in it. I really don't care for it, but the flavor of the tea is greatly helped with honey, which is how I'm currently drinking it. I'll probably end up giving this packet of tea to someone else to try. Okay. So I also have a few bronzers over here in this corner. Let's do that next. I think I actually want to pull out this one if I can get it. This is from Salt New York. This is their bronzer in the shade Light. It's very similar to like the Makeup by Mario one that I have a pan in. And I'm thinking that Whenever I focus on hitting pan again in a bronzer, this will be the one I reach for next. Isn't that pretty? Okay, but now let's talk blushes. Hee <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. So I definitely want to reach for this one from Milani. It's over, aha, here it is. This is a shade that I only reach for in the summertime and summer came with a vengeance. It is so hot here right now. We're just not used to that where I live. <laughs> Like winter ended and we had summer. We kind of skipped spring. But anyway, this is a very, very beautiful coral. Isn't that pretty? Mm, so melty, melty, so beautiful. Yeah, I'll definitely be reaching for that. I also want to reach for this peachy blush from Milani. This is the classic shade Luminoso. This is actually new to my stash this year. This is one of the ones that I tried in my series where I'm trying like classic drugstore makeup that I haven't tried before. <laughs> That's Luminoso. I really like it. I also want to pull out my MAC blush. This is the shade So Natural. This is a beautiful kind of beigey color. Very natural looking on me. <laughs> natural. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> okay. I think I also want to reach for this one from M Cosmetics. This is the shade per uh, Pearl Tea. I almost said peach. Pearl Tea, which is, again, kind of a beigey, nudie shade. Such a pretty formula. Love it. And then I always like to have a roasty toasty shade. So for that, I reach for this one from JCat. This is the Blush Mallow. This is the shade. Thank you very much. It's a soft, squishy formula, and that's the color. It's really beautiful. Super pretty. I think I also want to reach for this one from Revlon. This is the shade. Aha! Apricute. This is another one I tried earlier this year and I was so impressed by the formula. I think they're very, very nice blushes. So pretty. Very nice. Very silky. Just in case I want a cool toned blush, I will reach for this one from Believe Beauty. This is the shade Doll Face. It's not super, super cool, but just compared to some of these other things, it definitely does pull kind of cool. Pinky. Pinky cool. Cool cool pinky. <laughs> cool pink. <laughs> and I think I'm also going to reach for this one from Nude Sticks. This is the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Bell. I've tried this on my lips before, which is also nice, but I think I prefer this color on my cheeks versus my lips. And I think I also want to reach for this one from Salt New York again. This is the shade Maple. Maple is kind of a great neutral shade. All right, I think I have enough blush. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me here in my channel. I hope that you have a great month. I will see you again very soon in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.